And we're back, and I have a new guest with me this time. Introduce yourself, good sir. Hey guys, Bryce Salt here, and welcome back to another guest spot. Yep. Anyway, I did grind my guys up to level 40. Turtle suit. Oh, damn it, this isn't the time to use that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get old, does it? No, it does not. Anyway, uh, I did grind everybody up to level 40, which means that all the starters are now fully evolved. Steve, not quite yet. But anyway, it is time to go to the Gaim. The Gaim? Yes, the Gaim. Oh, a Gaim. Yes, exactly. Well, they and... changed the layout of this place. It's pretty straightforward so far. Shocking. Yeah, just different Pokemon. Start out with a fuck yeah, Sea King. Fuck yeah, Sea King. <laughs> and yeah, I might be a little overleveled, but trust me, soon enough you're going to see why that's a must. So what you're saying is you, you were that kid on the playground that everyone else had like level 50 Pokemon and they wanted to battle each other and you showed up with like six 100s and were like, yeah, that's right, I win. It's like, well, yeah, yeah. I have level 100s. <laughs> you know, at 10 years old, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Kingler, the king of the lure, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> but anyway, Razorleaf, gonna fuck his shit right up. Only level 19, I'm level 40. It's like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Especially with Razor Leaf, which has a broken crit rate in the uh, first gen, I believe. Yes, it does. There's a lot of broken stuff in the first. Well, yeah. It's the Venusaur. Well, what the hell happened with this gym? It's like he just—he's like, you know what? I've dicked you enough everywhere else, so let's just make you walk straight up there. Yeah. Only soon enough he'll be <gasps> dicking us again. Jazz, jazz hands. Jazz hands. Love jazz hands. Cedra. Cedra. Oh boy. That'd be scary if it was a Kingdra, King of the Draws. Yes. Which I know doesn't exist in this gen, but bear with me here. Indeed. My oh my, this is just, just horrifying. The, the, you're just throwing leaves around like your Gambit or something in the X-Men, throwing cards. Come in with a leaf blower. <laughs> oh no, by what weakness? Autumn! <laughs> anyway. Hi, you're a new face. Sure, why not? Let's go with that. <laughs> what is your approach when you catch Pokemon? I named them I cheated because I cheated to get them. Yes. <laughs> That's my policy. Anyway, never mind that shit. Here comes Mongo. Oh boy. Misty guys, Monster. guys, we have to beat Misty. And she has a Vaporeon. Ooh, this could be interesting. Yes, indeed. Toxic, Razor. paralyzing. <laughs> Straight up murder. That's uh, my that approach when it comes to fighting. That works perfectly. Actually, I don't know, uh... I don't know if you've noticed the Leech Seed Toxic combo that is evil in this gen. Oh it is. my god. I've used it before. I don't know what the hell I was doing, but... Bryce, you, were... you betrayed me. Well, you know. It is what it is. Heel There's Polyrath. Heel of the week. <laughs> Heel turn of the week. Yes. And, it, it, and, and, and you know what? It totally needs to be sponsored by a totally racist product, Ghetto Blaster, in the late 90s on Raw. I mean, that's what it needs to be. That was actually Bad News Brown's finishing move. <laughs> yeah, but there was some some kind of whatever blah 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 boombox that they used to like pimp on Raw, and including the uh, headbangers using it as a weapon once yes. to bash someone's skull in. <laughs> actually, this playthrough is sponsored by Chork. Not quite chicken, not quite pork. It's Chork. We think. And anyway, we just killed a Lapras and nobody gave a shit. <laughs> Big deal, Lapras is our tanks. Yeah. And oh, Starmie, yeah. which is actually one level under. Hacker, are you going easy on me? Well, you were also double the level of what you faced. True. And how long did it take you, to, even with fast forward and the lack of a counter rates in this game, how long did that take? Oh, that took... a good two days. Like, not straight, obviously, but, not like, straight, probably, but... like, a good three or four hours, then. Yeah. Ugh. I certainly, I certainly Wait. don't just sit there for several, several hours. I can't do that. Anyway, she gave us a TM that we don't need. Because, oh, nice. Because we already bought it. Bubble Bee? Yep. Ah. Because they let you buy it in this game. That was nice of them. And Rock Slide. Which... Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, if you need a good rock attack, I suppose. Anyway, time to heal up. Gotta love that editing. Just... Oh, editing is a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. 
when I go back and look at my old videos compared to the newer ones, it's like, oh man. Just, oh man. Oh, oh man. Anyway, it's time to go into this guy's backyard. You know what? Who do I want to put in the front? I think it's time for some Steve action. I was gonna, I was gonna suggest Steve, even knowing this has already happened. Yes. Stay out, it's not your yard. Oh yeah? <laughs> I'm the well, no, I, no, I no, I don't. When you attack me, I really don't believe you. Then. <laughs> yeah. And you have a whip. You, it's it's you, you like what? Did you get lost on the way to the SNM convention? What the hell? Oh God, he brought a mime. He's evil. Actually, he got lost on the way to the Castlevania convention. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. It turns out that he was actually one of the Belmonts, but he was down on his money, so he needed to join the Team Rocket. Mm. Rocket how it Belmonts. And he has how a duck trio. Trio, trio, trio. Steve. Body slam it. Man, oh man. Oh, he what? body slammed me. I was gonna say, what, what's going on here? What <laughs> Negative kind of Pokemon. What, what kind of weird Inception <laughs> shit is this? Yes. But uh, yeah, body slam just became Steve's best move. If it wasn't already. Yeah, it kind of was. He got 28, which used to be Dig, I believe. I, it still is. He didn't change the actual numbers. However, I don't need it because uh, Turtle Soup learned Dig naturally for some reason. You're not gonna give it to uh, whatever ground type you pick up, or are you not doing um, a ground? I am. I'm actually eventually gonna sell it because I. See, really... I've, I've I've always been a big believer in the uh, in the uh, ground types. So. Oh, I am a firm believer in ground types myself, and I will catch a ground type, Ooh. just not yet. So, are we? You're looking for a new Pokemon here, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing what the hell there is down here, and there's a, a nice Toduo. No duo. Not gonna become a member of my team, but I'm still gonna catch it anyway because I want an HM Slay for Fly. Yeah, wait, he can fly? Uh, yes, he can. He has no damn wings! I don't know why. Wait, hold on a minute, Master Balls? What? Yeah, I never put him away. I never put him away. You motherfuck. Yeah, I know. I, you know what? I kind of forgot they were still there. I was like, and then you and then you just tossed. You're like, oh well, if I've cheated once, I may as well just cheat forever. Yeah. And we're gonna give him the best name I could possibly think of. Budgical? Nope. Damn. Just straight up. Fuck. Piss. Pidgey. Fuck Pidgey. Fuck Pidgey. <laughs> because oh. I hate Pidgey. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Only thing it's good for is dinner. I've heard this. Yes. Well, I, I, I just want to say I don't like any of the birds in Gen 1, like other than the, the, the legendaries, so I don't use any of them. Um, Whatever. I like Fuck Spiro, them all. but... I, I, know, I, know, I know you like Spiro, but that's just because you have no taste. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for having me. I'll be leaving now, yeah. and, uh... <laughs> nah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Berate me all you want. <laughs> Find items. Find items. Nope. <laughs> I'm shaking my fist at you right now. Yes, I know. You have editing to help you power through this. I know. Oh. But we're about to find some interesting things because my God, look oh, what he did! Oh <laughs> God! It look it, it it looks like the tile set maker for this game just puked everywhere. Yeah. And what are we gonna run into this time? The duo. Hit Monchan. Because, yeah, you should run into a boxing glove wearing thing out in the wild. And I wouldn't be running the other way 100 miles an hour, just throwing my balls backwards. Sorry, guys, you deal with it, I'm gone. Yeah. Except, too bad Hitmonchan is worthless in Gen 1. And Gen 2. And Gen 3. And probably any... Whoa! No, Gen 4, it actually gets pretty good. What, do they find a way to actually have it do attacks that are worthwhile? Um, what happened is they split up what's physical and what's special. I thought they already did that. They did that by, uh, well, no, they changed it. In Gen 3 and back, it was determined by your type. Yeah. In Gen 4... The type of, the type of attack. Yeah. In Gen yeah. 4, they changed it so that if the move would do physical damage, it's a physical move. So moves like Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and Thunder Punch are now physical moves. That makes sense. So, he can right. actually take advantage of them. Plus, he also gets an ability where those moves do, like, 20% more damage. Wow. So, yeah, in Gen 4 and onward, Hitmonchan actually becomes the better one. As opposed to Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Top. Yeah. Terrible. Hitmon Top. I know. They couldn't come up with, like, 
another action star to name him after? Hitmon Uma, come on, you should have done it! I, I, I'm, I'm well aware Kill Bill wasn't out yet, but do it anyway! And Parasect is dead. Nice. Parasect. Because fuck Parasect. I hate the Paris family more than I hate the Pidgey family. Let that tell that's, me. That, that's saying something, because I'm pretty sure... Whoa, that was a fast encounter. Yeah, they finally kill it, 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 kill it. Run. Or fine, that's fine. Running's fine too. I don't. I already have my electric type picked out, so. Good. I know Jolteon, but still. Yeah. People are like Pikachu. No, Pikachu sucks. It should be roasted right up with Pidgey. So, okay, we've had this discussion with other people. Who eats Pikachu? Who eats Pikachu? We know the Chinese eat Eevee. Yep. We know that Africans eat all the bug Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Um, we eat Pidgeot on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. So who eats Pikachu? Okay, Chuds, for one, because there's a lot of easy access to rats in the sewer. Um, cats, in general. Uh, so furries would probably, by extension, eat Pikachus. Which means they'd also be cannibals, possibly, but I'm okay with that. Less furries, the better. Indeed. And, um... I would have to say, after the uh, aliens invade and take over Earth, I'd say everyone would be eating Pikachus. Just makes sense. And by the way, I just killed a Pikachu for you. Yes! Like Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant, Steve body slammed the two pound Pikachu. Brother! Let me tell you something, brother! Wigglytuff's one creepy motherfucker! Well, let me tell you something, brother! When that Steve used his 24-inch pythons, Jack, to lift the 20-pound Pikachu, brother, in front of 80 million screaming Pokemaniacs. You know, if I had any ability with Photoshop whatsoever, I would take an Eevee and give it 24-inch pythons, and it would just be the most horrifying thing you've ever seen. <laughs> I have done. Well, I did Photoshop him to look like Mr. Fuji, so... I did see that. <laughs> <laughs> when he throws sand in your eyes. So, so you have a new project, my friends. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I one time also photoshopped a magic carp onto Triple H. Nice. Because um, one of my oldest videos. Whoa. Yes, a level 100 Weedle. It finally happened. Yay, we did it. And I actually had to pause here for a minute because I was just stunned. <laughs> How bad is this going to do you, I wonder? Ah, oh, jeez. 24. That's for Poison Sting? That's pretty good. I know. Oh my god, it just no sold that ever, <laughs> like Undertaker style. Just sat right up. I'm gonna have to Photoshop the Weedle Taker, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> but just like oh, the Undertaker, good. its streak is going to die. <laughs> I might have to rename my Charizard Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Do it. Oh god. This is, I love how it's like, yeah, level 18, level 20. Here's a 100 Weedle, just just for shit. Randomly shipping. there. And this is one of the reasons why I did grind so much, because I knew this guy would be throwing shit like this at me. Yeah, good plan. Because if I was, like, level 20, I'd be getting my ass kicked by a Weedle, and I can't afford that kind of embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> and I kick him in the nuts for it. <laughs> good, it's good to have uh, joy in life, you know? Oh good, I thought it was going to be the it walked over and blocked you and you'd have to walk all the way back to reset. I really thought he was going to do that. Oh no, wait till we get to the uh, east of Vermilion. Oh, I've, I've already seen him do it to you a couple times, including the girl whose ass was a mountain. Yes. But I, I'm just saying that that looked like a prime spot where you'd have to walk all the way back and then all the way down. Yep. He missed, he missed a prime opportunity of dickitude. You should write the guy and let him know that he should fix that. I know. Well, he <laughs> did. He That's called Pokemon Indigo. <laughs> Which I think I've shown you screenshots of how much of an atrocity that one is. Yeah, I think you did, actually. <laughs> Ponyta, more like loser ta. Ponyta, more like I'm gonna kill every single fan of My Little Pony for this one. <laughs> more, more like Bronyta. Yes. Oh, God. Ditto Queen, more like I ripped out your spleen. Yeah, that's better than anything I had. That's not yeah. saying much, mind you, but it's still better than what I had. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it died. Turtle Soup reigns supreme. I was thinking of naming him Gamora, but decided not to. Gamora! Gamora! 
should have done Gamera. Oh, uh, this guy. This guy was a cheating prick in the original game. What did he have? A Firo? No, he had a, a Raticate that wasn't level 20. And no, still, no, 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 whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Aren't you thinking of the guy in Mount Moon? There was a guy in Mount Moon at like a level 16 Raticate. Yeah, th there were a couple people in this game that in, in the original. Really? Yep. I don't remember the guy having a cheated Raticate here, but maybe at that point it didn't matter because it was so much further ahead and my guys were all like, ha <laughs> Raticate, boom. Yeah. The days of fearing uh, Hyper Fang were over. <laughs> yep. Exactly. But he has a Nidoking. King. I mean, I think I think these two had like Nidorine, Nidoran female and males in the original, in addition to the other one. So like he just upped their their evolutions a couple scales. That's 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 cool. It's that's a good way to do it. Yeah, I respect that. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> anyway, we are in Vermilion City. I'm gonna heal up, and then that is gonna do it for this video. Bryce, if you're sticking around, right? Yeah, I can do another one, sure. Alright, peace! Hey.